New stories introduced to Arc's canon. Arc animated, dated, and Scorched Earth assets teased in latest dev kit. You're right, kids, it's Ras Clark, and welcome to your regular Arc community news. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around, and let's get into it. Bob's Arc Tour Tales, anyone? <laughs> Very unexpected. We all expected something else, which we'll get to in just a very short moment. But in the crunch that just got dropped this second, we've had an announcement that a feature called Bob's Arc Tour Tales with some absolutely brilliant artwork. Let's just breathe that one in for a minute now. What the hell is this alluding to? Is this content that's upcoming to Arc? What? Of course, we can see the Oasis Saw. We see the trains that I'm guessing we're going to get with the Adventure Pack coming to Scorched Earth when that arrives at the end of the month. But on top of that, steampunk costumes, steampunk rock drakes, blimps, cowboys, Mad Max crazy psycho looking dudes and Mad Max style cars. Is all of this coming to Ark? It certainly suggests so that with the animated series, Cole Urban, who's playing Bob, the voice of Bob, for that, and again, we'll get to that in just a moment, has recorded lines for a new adventure that we're going to be invited to from March the 31st, courtesy of Explorer Notes that may be dropping with Scorched Earth or maybe on the island. I'd hazard would be Scorched Earth, though... They say March the 31st and not April the 1st, which is what the original date of Scorched Earth was going to be. Alluding perhaps possibly that Scorched Earth might be dropping on March 31st and introducing another voice actor, Ao Lee He, who did the voice of Moana, I think. It's a very surprise announcement indeed. And what exactly this entails, and if this is alluding to content upcoming as well, we're getting Mad Max cars. What? <laughs> But what's even more wackier is within this community crunch, there is no mention of the animated TV series, which we covered earlier in the week. And well, it sounds like it's going to come out next week. Paramount Plus that's now seemingly confirmed, retweeted by Ark Survival, Ascended's main Twitter account, did a little teaser for us with images picking apart pieces of Ark, but found and discovered in Jade's video that Apple TV seemed to be hosting this as well with a synopsis of episodes one, two, four. I'm not going to look at these too much, don't want to spoil it for myself, but a date, March the 21st, for all six of these episodes, meaning backed with the wiki leak that we had earlier in the week, suggesting the same date too. It's possible that this is coming out next week, but Wildcard haven't said a word, haven't confirmed this, haven't said anything about this date. Could it be perhaps Paramount Plus have the rights at, at the very least to announce this date? Because at the end of the day, Wildcard completely funded this themselves and probably, and well, they did have a real struggle trying to get a platform to put this on because I guess these platforms wanted some creative control over these and couldn't because it was already done and funded for maybe at the very least paramount plus have said well let us announce the date i can't think of any other reason why wildcard haven't said a word about this and paramount plus have it has to be right or it's actually later than it seems to be so with the recent patch that prepared some scorched earth Assets changed the female model, which a lot weren't happy about, though has seemingly improved since then and would love to hear your feedback on that since this patch arrived just recently today. Of course, a bunch of Scorched Earth assets are now available to view via the dev kit. Neddy did a video on this just yesterday, showcasing all the ones he believes that are ASA Scorched Earth. And there are obviously a few cool gems to find within this obviously new improved versions of assets you know from ASE Scorched Earth and some new structure pieces on top as well. There was a tiny preview of the Fasoda Sucus, though you couldn't actually visibly see this within the dev kit, though has since been patched following this accidentally, I'm guessing, being dropped in the dev kit. And speaking of the dev kit, Mods Curse Forge, who are leading the charge for them, announced that the limitation that console players have seen with their mods, I believe was 10 gig uh, up until now, is going to be increased to 20 gigabytes very, very soon. No ETA yet, no exact date on when you're going to get this update but 
I'm sure good news to a lot of people out there. I've seen many complaining about their mod limit being capped. Now 20 gig will be available for you to fill up even more. And speaking of Curse Forge, you might remember their Arcathon contest that was upcoming. Well, it's running right here, right now. With eight winners sharing a prize pool of 50 grand, which works out to about just over six grand each. And the finalists have being picked and you have to vote on them by going to their Twitter and hearting the particular mods that you want with two categories available here one for everything else and one for maps though you can vote these in a more clear layout via their website I'll leave a link to these in the description where you can simply scroll to the maps that are available to vote for and heart them there it was a bit confusing in just the twitter feeds and you can see them very clearly here but there was a bit of backlash surrounding this with perhaps not enough exposure to other mods out there and curseforge did take this into account with a third category the community gems track with an additional prize pool of 20 splitting into prizes of four grand and a different voting mechanic for that via this Google Duck right here where you can pick your favourite mods and they'll go through to the finalist section like these very first two Twitter voted sections so you can vote on them like them on Twitter like you can these. Yeah, a bit confusing, felt confusing to deliver that. To summarise, if you want your favourite mana to win a decent chunk of cash, go to this site and get voting, get liking the tweets that you want to win. Obviously, I hearted all of them because I couldn't decide myself. And that's it. Ark, the animated TV series, is coming. Of course, I will be watching this and trying to figure out a way I can share how much I love this. I'm sure I will love this. I've been looking forward to this one for, what, three years? It's been a very, very long time. And I can't wait to jump in it, as I'm sure many of you can't wait to jump in it too. If you're excited, do that thing. Comment below. Until the next one, my name's Ras Clark. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, oh, peace out. Stop!